It's umsum time. <laughs> what if we oh. replace water by soft drinks? Nah. We should replace salads by burgers and French fries. <laughs> oh, um, some. If we replace our eight daily glasses of water with eight soft drinks, ah. then we would be in a big <laughs> trouble. In a real life incident, a woman drank soda instead of water for 16 years. She was hospitalized. She had irregular heartbeats and very low potassium levels. Artificial sweeteners and soft drinks can have laxative effects. Overconsumption of same can cause diarrhea. Many soft drinks contain caffeine. Overconsumption of caffeine can lead to loss of potassium via urine. Flow of potassium regulates our heartbeat. Low potassium levels may lead to heart palpitations or irregular heartbeats. Overconsumption of caffeine can also lead to insomnia. We might start staring more at stars instead of sleeping. Also, soft drinks are usually sugary drinks. Hence, this will also lead to weight gain or diabetes. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what if we stopped eating sugar? Then I would start licking honey. Ugh, listen, um, some. Sugar stimulates the release of feel-good chemicals like dopamine. Ah. So, sudden cutting down of sugar can cause sugar uh -huh. withdrawal, thus leading to anxiety, mood swings, etc. However, the most obvious benefits of avoiding sugar would be weight loss, improved oral health, and reduced risk of diabetes. Secondly, sugar also triggers the process of glycation, in which harmful compounds called AGEs are released. These AGEs attach to collagen and elastin in our skin, causing wrinkles. So, avoiding huh? sugar may reduce wrinkling. Hmm. Thirdly, studies have shown that excess sugar causes inflammation, which gives rise to acne. So, giving up on sugary foods may prevent acne. Hmm. Fourthly, avoiding sugar can also reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. How? A chemical called BDNF forms new connections and new memories. According to research, excess sugar is linked to drop in the BDNF level thus causing uh, Alzheimer's. Hmm. What if we only oh. eat fruits? No problemo. You eat all the fruits, I will eat all the burgers. Oh, um some. Huh? <laughs> fruits are a major source of potassium, dietary fiber, vitamin C, and folate. Potassium helps in maintaining healthy blood pressure, ah. thus reducing chances of a stroke. Dietary fiber helps in relieving constipation and reducing blood <laughs> cholesterol levels, thus lowering the risk of heart diseases. Vitamin C is responsible for the growth and repair of body tissues. Folate is vital in the formation of red blood cells. Now, on the flip side, as fruits contain high sugar content, they may prove to be harmful to diabetic <laughs> patients. Also, eating a lot of them may lead to weight gain and tooth decay. Lastly. Relying only on fruits may lead to nutritional deficiencies, which may further lead to immune system dysfunction. Hmm. What if we drink only seawater? Nah, I only drink chocolate milkshake. Oh, um, some. On an average, seawater has salinity of about 3.5%. When we drink seawater, water as well as excess salt get absorbed oh. in our blood. One of the functions of our kidneys is to remove this excess salt from our blood. But urine produced by kidneys has a salt concentration which is less than 3.5% of that of seawater. Hence, it ah. needs more water to remove all the excess salt. As a result, we feel thirsty after drinking seawater. Excess seawater consumption can lead to dehydration. Secondly, excess drinking of seawater will also hinder the blood purifying process of our kidneys. How? Because solute concentration inside the filtering units of our kidneys will be lower than that of the highly saline blood. Hence, due to osmosis, blood doesn't get purified. Hmm. What if we only eat spicy food? Nothing will happen. I eat lollipops every day. Oh, um, so. Eating a moderate amount of spicy food does have some advantages. Firstly, spices definitely increase the flavor of the food we eat. Ah. 
Secondly, some experts believe that capsaicin found in spicy foods helps in weight management by curbing our appetite and speeding up our metabolism. Mm. A study also found people to be more mm. satiated after eating spicy food. Thirdly, capsaicin <laughs> has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial effects which are good for our mm. body. Disadvantages of eating <laughs> too much spicy food are, firstly, they can decrease the sensitivity oh. of our taste buds. Secondly, they can cause acid reflux, that is, acids and spices mix with stomach acid and irritate our food pipe lining. Thirdly, they can cause irritation of our gut, leading to diarrhea. Lastly, they can further worsen heartburn, stomach ulcers, and condition of people suffering from irritable bowel syndrome. Hmm.